Yeah, okay, Rebecca Robertson. Good evening, I'm Rebecca Robertson. I'm the Legal and Policy Director of the American Civil Liberties Union of Texas. I wanna say thank you to the senators who have stuck it out with all of us who have been waiting. I really appreciate your still being here. Um, uh, Senator Kolkhorst, I was so happy this morning to hear you invoke fondly Title IX and how important it was in your own personal achievement. Uh, <coughs> Title IX is such an important protection for all students in America. Uh, it, it protects every student, including the one we see sitting right there, against discrimination on the basis of sex. It covers transgender children. Um, I want to say that the Supreme Court almost 30 years ago ruled that our federal civil rights laws, when they ban discrimination on the basis of sex, they mean more than just biological sex. They also mean gender nonconformity. That's almost a 30-year-old decision. And that's why in the years since, every uh, federal appellate court to consider the issue has said that transgender, transgender discrimination is sex discrimination under our federal civil rights laws. Transgender discrimination violates Title IX. SB 6, therefore, violates Title IX. I also want to say that as a lawyer who represents transgender children and their parents, I know how this discrimination impacts them. You've heard so much about it today. And I would encourage you, if you're focused on protecting children, to think about what this discrimination does to them. I also want to say that our U.S. Constitution uh, bars governments from discriminating against people under the Equal Protection Clause. Barring people from participating in an event like today where all of us have needed access to the restroom and some of us under this bill would be unable to be here because we could not use the restroom, that is the definition of an equal protection violation by our government. To the transgender people watching, to especially the children, please know we stand with you in asking this committee to oppose SB 6. Thank you for your testimony, ma'am. Mr. Chair, can I ask a quick question? Uh, yes, yes, ma'am, of course, Senator. Uh, do you think that this bill can lead to more profiling of transgender children and adults? I, I think we've heard testimony today, Senator Garcia, that it already has led to profiling, and frankly, not just of transgender Texans uh, who are being questioned and policed when they use public facilities on the same basis as other people, but also just of people whose gender expression doesn't conform to what somebody expects from a man or a woman. If I'm too tall or my feet are too big or my clothes are too baggy, people might mistake me uh, and think that under this bill, this kind of law, that they can question my right to be in the bathroom. So what do you think about the enforcement of this particular bill? Well, I'm not really sure how we could enforce it. Uh, I don't know. I heard somebody today say, is this going to be a show me your paper state? Am I going to have to carry my birth certificate to be able to use the ladies' room? Uh, and, and frankly, um, uh, the, the specter that uh, has been raised here is false because we've been using restrooms on the basis of our gender expression and gender identity for decades without any problem. Um, I think the real difficulty will be when we ask transgender men who are men to go into the ladies' room. That's going to open the door for cisgender men to do the same. But who is going to know the difference? It's going to be very, very difficult to tell who's supposed to be in a women's restroom and who's supposed to be in a men's restroom. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Thanks, Senator. Thank you, Ms. Robertson. Alice Perry.